Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to Carl 93's review of the Metal Robot Spirits Satan Gundam Monster Black Dragon. Satan Gundam is a villain from the animated miniseries SD Gundam Gaiden, set in the high fantasy world of Lacroa, where mobile suits are sentient and super deformed. The show also features SD versions of notable characters from the mainline Gundam series, and it follows the adventures of the heroic Knight Gundam. This is everything out of box. The base figure itself, two sets of extra hands, a pair of wings, with the replacement black dragon parts, which includes a different head, different shoulders, and a different tail, the action base attachments, the action base itself, a pair of wing locks, and of course, an instruction sheet. This figure is under the Metal Robot subline known as Real Type, which takes designs that were originally SD and give them a more standardized Gundam proportion. If we take a look at its animation model, this figure is more of the color black with a matte finish than a dark blue. The pupils are completely gone, the edges are sharper, and its more exaggerated proportions really enhances its menacing presence, really giving off that final boss energy. It also has somewhat of a transformation, and it involves opening up the cloak, revealing a lot more detailing in the chest area, replacing the shoulders, replacing the head, replacing the tail, and finally, shifting the toe and heels down, and now this is what's known as Monster Black Dragon. The head can go up, down, and side to side. The shoulders are movable, double-jointed die-cast elbows, some wrist articulation, and the hands can fully rotate. Usual motions in the front and side skirts, a swiveling upper leg, double-jointed die-cast knees, a bit of ankle articulation, pivoting foot, a bit of toe movement, and a bit of heel movement. The wings are poseable and can be easily adjusted thanks to the connector points that can go in, out, and even further. And the tail also has some up and down and can easily be spun around. For the sizing, Satan Gundam is one of the bigger metal robot figures. Here he is next to Robot Spirits Gundam, one of my previous reviews, the Akatsuki Gundam Shirinui, and its rival, the metal robot Full Armor Knight Gundam. So in conclusion, there's really not much to be negative about this figure. My biggest knock is definitely the ball joint in the neck that easily sinks in, making replacing the head very annoying. I guess the design is also more of an acquired taste, and what I mean by that is people are used to expecting the real robot aesthetic for Gundams, which this is definitely not. It looks like something out of a super robot show or even a high fantasy RPG, which technically it is. But actually, if you squint a little bit, Satan Gundam could very well fit in the world of G Gundam. Of course, price will always be a factor of whether or not this guy is worth it, and being a Tomashi Web exclusive makes it just a bit harder to purchase. Knight Gundam and Satan Gundam definitely look really good together in a display shelf, and with the upcoming Metal Robot Vassal Knight Gundam, maybe it's just a matter of time until Bandai brings them even further together and release a certain golden god that's flat out superior.